that's good, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Dima, story time music. So yesterday I was reading the Bible because you know me, I love the Lord. Gospel music. And yeah, I love Jesus, right? I was just, you know, singing Amazing Grace to myself when I got a notification sound, please. And it was from my man, Paul Castellano. And he had been tagging me and tagging me and tagging me all day to these posts, right? And then I came across um, what the story was about, which is this guy who is named Mike Hockabook. And if I'm mispronouncing that name, I do apologize. He is a 55 year old man from uh, from Florida. And if you see, he's in the picture with this um, young lady who looks like it is his uh, his daughter. OK, uh, the young lady is 18 years old. Um, and it looks like maybe he just got married to maybe someone else and he's taking a picture with his daughter. And um, yeah, you're kind of right because it is sort of his daughter. It's his uh, it's his goddaughter. Um, but the reality is is that that is his wife. Can I get a oh my god sound effect? Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, so it's 55 years old. She's 18. It was his goddaughter. Now it's his wife. But see, if you don't believe me, I want you to look at this post in 2017. His goddaughter ran away. And Dima put the picture of what she looks like now in comparison to this photo. He says, September 18, 2017. Day music! Access for the community. Help. If anybody see my goddaughter, please contact me or her mother. She's 14 years old and she need to be found fast. Time is of the essence. Thank you very much. Can I get an aww sound effect? Aww. So, yeah, he's been in her life for a long time. Um, don't believe me? Let's look at this post here. Be careful who you have around your kids. They might get married. Yeah, that's actually her as a little girl and that's him getting married, right? <laughs> <laughs> but what's even more interesting? Can I get a da 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 sound effect? <laughs> yeah, he was actually married or having sex with her mother. which kind of makes her like him like a stepdad and a godfather at the same time. Ah, <sighs> yeah. So that is what the fuss is about. Now, I want to play a clip of the mother who has weighed in on this. It, it is kind of graphic as to some of the things she will say. We will kind of beep out what we can beep out. Um, but we'll only play two minutes of the live stream, okay? And then um, we will we'll come back and then let the daughter tell her side of the story um, about her being married to her goddad and how she feels about it. So Dima, play that clip! <coughs> I don't know. But that whole got me fucked up. Because I, I ain't it. Find, somebody, find something safe to do. So, this was this, right? Uh, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> so, um, my daughter and Mike Huckabuck married each other, right? I don't approve of that stupid ass cartoon ass shit. And that's what the fuck I said. I ain't even go to that fuck ass shit. Mike, you know I fucked your ass in 2017 in my apartment in the motherfucking LP. When you was coming over there hard. Anybody who know me know when I stayed over y'all seen that fat stank ass nigga the fuck over there. Okay? For a cell phone, $150. Okay? I was working at Family Dollar and I need some extra money. So that's what that was about. I told this dumb and then when she ran away when I stayed over there with my oldest daughter in Jacksonville, <coughs> Mike was the main one talking about this my goddaughter. Y'all help me find her. Da -da -da -da. Y'all remember that shit? Y'all remember when I whooped Deja ass in that kitchen too? Like the 14 year old little girl she was. Yeah, y'all remember that shit. So, with that being said, Deja's my last child. Her name really is Deja Leia Evans. 
like Davinia Evans, mine. She just got adopted in 2016, right before I came home. Okay, by Ashley Jackson, white chick. All right, so with that being said, uh, Deja doesn't remember when she was little. She don't. Re she don't remember when I was when she was with me. I lost my kids to DCF. A lot of y'all know I used to snout patty, sold a lot of motherfucking drugs, whooped a lot of ass, went to jail a lot. I was young and wild as fuck. I don't apologize, and I'd be goddamn if I apologize in a motherfucking moment. But you said you married Mike because you need stability. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> your son, your your stepson, my little cousin, your little cousin. Yeah, he he didn't know he didn't know whether to call you his godmama or his mother god. I mean, his stepmama or his god sister. Okay, so you heard what the mom had to say. Let's let the daughter, the new Mrs. Huckabuck. Say what she has to say. Me and my husband, we're married. Me and my husband ain't going nowhere. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't give two. I don't. I don't give two fucks at that. Not even one about y'all opinions. Y'all on here talking about? Oh, I'm just stating my opinion. I'm just stating my opinion. I'm just stating. It don't mean shit to us. So why the fuck waste your time and energy and your your mother? time out of the day in your life to sit up here and keep on saying it, 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 it that's your opinion we don't care at the end of the day everything is done we're legally motherfucking married i'm 18 i'm grown now talking about oh you just a baby i'm 18 bitches. i moved out my mama house when i was 16 16 16 fucking 16 what did i do get a job get a job pregnant and all working pregnant working at 16 with no motherfucking body i ain't had nobody my mama was a druggie nobody never had nobody I don't, i'm not saying this to show they, they have no sympathy or looking for sympathy nobody sympathizing with me i don't ha i don't i'm this is not what it's for i'm just letting y'all know that i don't give a fuck about y'all opinions that don't mean shit me it don't because at the end of the day everybody have a life to live okay so what he's 46 not 50 thank you he's 46 half of y'all motherfucking mammies probably he probably fucked half of y'all motherfucking um peoples probably fucked your mammies and you got y'all daddies mad and some of y'all motherfuckers mad at him because he on his shit and we both on our shit and Y'all just mad because I'm happy. Deja always gonna be happy. No, y'all hoes thought that I wasn't never gonna be it because of my past. That's what the fuck y'all thought, and I proved y'all wrong. That's why y'all hoes really mad. But at the end of the day, that shit ain't even worth it. Because at the end of the day, I'ma do me. We gonna do us. I'ma continue wear this motherfucking rock on my finger, and I don't give a fuck what a bitch gotta say. I don't. I don't. All right. So you see that she has also weighed in on how she feels about people who are commenting on her situation but what about the guy da, 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 sound effect now mr huckabuck is not shameful um for what he's done it appears that she just turned 18 but he might have been grooming her actually it does that's probably what it is right because they say that they have four kids together i don't know if any of those kids are biological but obviously um, it looks like he's been messing around with her for some time, even probably at that time when she was 14. Um, and it does kind of remind me of a story that we heard with, um, one YouTuber on here, Glennon Cameron, a guy that I had did some shows with in the past. Um, I didn't comment on that publicly. I talked about that on Patreon. Uh, but yeah, it, it seems like the Glennon Cameron situation but worse. Now, Glennon Cameron, he talks about it, that he did something like this similar with a girl and their mother or something like that. But he said he did it for clout. And um, which I thought was stupid, because why would you say something like this to promote a YouTube channel when it, if the content isn't good on their channel, they're not going to stay there anyway. But according to Glennon Cameron, when he said what he said about his experience dealing with, you know, underage girls, um, it was just for uh, a social experiment. So that's left up to people to decide what that is. But in this case, we have actual proof that Mr. Huckabuck, indeed, um, there's been some evidence that he's been messing with her for some time. But 
for those haters out there, he has um, something to tell you. Uh, give me some angry music. It seems like I'm the only Jigga in this town have married a young woman. But since it's me, they got to have something to talk about. Look like you little girls are jealous of my wife. But keep on promoting us. I love it. Okay. And let's look at what people have to say about that. This girl says, Dang music! I can't even say what I want to say because Mark ass keep trying to lock me up. But just know I'm coming for you, Mike the... You know, we'll blur that uh, A out there, but you know, our artist, okay? And um, so yeah, so people have been commenting their little things here and there, um, but I wanna just say this. People are not mad of, at you because they're jealous of the 18 year old lady. I think that if anybody looks at you, I mean, you like a goddamn um, male chorus gospel singer from the Mighty Clouds of Joy, nigga, like, you look terrible. Um, that's your wedding. Is that like a cat suit you got on? You like your, you, you look like you're about to be playing in a Domino's tournament with that on. I mean, you got lugs boots on. You're just looking really dusty and raggedy. Just sandal it up, okay? Nobody is mad at you because they're jealous of her. She's a nice looking young lady, but that's not the point. The point is you were her goddaughter or godfather, and now that's your wife, okay? And um, that's really nasty. Um, and many people have a right to be upset with you over that because it looks like, and it probably is the case that you're messing with a woman when she was young. Now, if you listen to the mother, it's obvious the mother had problems. The mother was in and out of jail. The mother got the kids taken from her. The, 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 the daughter, um, you know, didn't want to be there and she was unstable. So this guy appears was her stability. And then that's what ended up happening. And the daughter is mad. Uh, the mom is mad at the daughter, um, which she should be mad at the guy too, but the daughter should be mad at herself. Like, look how she talks. I mean, you talked about that you did something to him in his behind. I mean, did you guys catch that? It was pretty disgusting, right? Like, look what kind of woman that she is. And um, and you listen to the daughter, she's kind of got that same kind of, you know, attitude problem too a little bit. And I mean, the, 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 the young lady was kind of doomed to begin with because of the parenting. And when you look at black America, you can't get around the lack of, uh, of parenting in certain situations. So then you have these creeps out here who, you know, instead of trying to really help somebody, um, they do this. Now I have a, a young lady that is 20 years old. I call her my daughter. I won't tell you who she is, but some of you who are close to me knows, um, who she is. When Glennon Cameron uh, allegedly said what he said, and I heard it after um, some live streams because he had a, made a live stream about Anton and I didn't know what was going on at the time. But when I heard what he had to say, I was very uh, hurt by it. Not because I knew the people per, um, personally, but because I have a young lady in my life um, that I consider my daughter and she's only 20. And she's grown, right? And, and, and I was still hurt. Imagine this guy, 55. And you're dating a woman that's 18, you know, and you're taking advantage of a young lady that comes from a very dysfunctional background. Um, a lady who, you know, if she had more support in her life, she would never deal with you. And I, I think that's, I know that that's very wrong. And, um, and there's a lot of people in, in black women in, in America that grow up with situations like this because their mom can't keep it together. Their mom is out there or, or dad is not there. So then you have guys out there who supposed to do the right thing are, are, are and women too, uh, helping the youth go in the right direction. And then this happens, uh, unfortunately. So what do you guys think in, in the comment section? Let me know how you feel there. But before I go, I want to give a shout out to one of my longtime supporters here, Mr. Joseph Asbury in his business, Sharp Lens Photography, man, the Asbury Group LLC really really top photography group you know they do clientele all over the city of new york um you know with uh you know st john fisher college and metropolitan college in new york hey listen if you're in the new york city area and you need photography check my man out sharp lens photography right get your stuff right man check out his client gallery i will put his link to the business at the top tell him that o'shea duke jackson sent you for all of your photography needs and as you know the buffoon remains at all time high. Check out all of my stuff pinned to the top there. Check out all my information. 
you know um you know the patreon all that peace out <laughs>